Happy Meal toys that you get from like way back in the day and you just wind back on the little car and then it just zooms forward. That's literally what these two characters have beside me. One is this one is literally the 499 side B and the other one is the free to play side B. And I'll let you guys figure out who's free to play on that. So something um, I, I was uh, just on Twitter the other day watching Yoni, who's another uh, popular Steve main. And he was talking about how players don't actually pressure Steve that well when they set up the three block to start by attacking the bottom block. Because you can actually get rid of it and then run right under it to pressure Steve. Yeah. And I, for, for anybody like fighting Steve, it's one of those characters that you kind of have to like understand he's a character that can cap, camp you effectively just because of his game plan with mining out yeah. materials and always having materials is really strong for Steve. So it's more of a like, okay, be aggressive when you need to be and then be passive when you want to be. It's not even that. It's more of like, you kind of have to understand when to go for the perfect balance of both and understanding things like minecart. But what a back air, man. <laughs> No, that was that's unbelievable. Good. That was good because that's the one common option that Steve will go for from, you know, that high recovery. He's going to send out minecart. Why? Because you have to respect it. Oh, no. Oh, Just like, in the nick of time. And Ramon64 can't even recover after that. Man. A call for a call. Jake was like, I'm going to set up this perfect trap. And he sprung it at the exact right moment. I don't think there was much Ramon could do because, again, Bowser Jr.'s recovery is very limited to the character's weakest point. Yeah. Uh, only good in terms of horizontal, not vertical. And unfortunately, <laughs> the vertical game plan recovery is only limited to going for a Koopa card. Oh, what an interesting down air there by Ramon. Both players playing off stage pretty dangerously. Jake trying to pursue Ramon right now with the diamond axe and sword. Nice uh, pick loop there. Yeah, and good for Ramon just to use Cannonball, just particularly for that interaction. Like, I want Jake to hold shield, not have a way to edge guard me. So even if I have him hold shield for just a second, that interaction... Oh, we got caught by the right. cart. Oh, and then no! The that was inevitable the minute that the cart just positioned itself perfectly to catch Ramon trying to escape vertically. That's the thing about the cart, man. You have to respect it. It's a command grab, and it's also a hitbox. So if you mash out <laughs> improperly, you'll get followed up by forward air. If you mash out too early, he gets a free punish. You kind of have to really time your mash out against Steve to basically get around it. Yeah. Oh, trying to cannonball in, in defense right now, Ramon. Seeking a way to bring this game back. Trying not to let it run completely away from him. Oh, looking for the same call out up top. Not quite going to get it. Yeah, and it's still good too because that's the one. He's looking for those common options Jade might go as a Steve main. Just seeing how Jake plays and how what Steve's tools are. And then you could definitely punish him for those, you know, usual common options. You gotta go down through the mental checklist in your head, man. Like you gotta understand what this character might do, but also the character's tools. And I think Ramon kind of has oh. a firm understanding here. It's 69 to 112 here. Ramon trying to get that recovery, and he finally gets for. He's got. He's got. Literally, he needs the stock to definitely have the lead. And even then, it's not much of a lead because you know that Jake can definitely bring these back. Goes for the spin out to hit out Jake and avoids the minecart as well. Yeah, I think at 72, Ramon's gonna be privy to some. Uh, Steve confirms that Jake gets his hands on him. Ramon right now is oh, playing no. very... Oh, he managed to escape that follow-up. Tries to get the exploding uh, cart to work, not quite. Ramon having to recover low again, just got to lives before. Get that no. legend vulnerability and just... Look step out that death smash. Yeah, look at that space, man. Like, it, it's literally... You have to look at how Ramon recovered. He recovered all the way across the stage that he had to look at. The only person who was following him was not only himself, but it's Jake. And he can get that punish if you're going to come in all the way across the ledge. Sometimes I tell people, when you finally get the ledge against your opponent and you have that ledge of invincibility, just hold on to it. You have no reason to be that aggressive. Just get the ledge, look at how your opponent's going to react from you, and then come back. But I feel like Ramon knew, I want to get a hit. I need to take this stock here. And unfortunately, in that process, Jake got the read on that recovery, saw the commitment, and punished him for it. I have the feeling that we're probably going to run it right back. Yeah, we're going to run it right back to FD. I think I, it's I a stage that benefits both characters. Yeah, I agree with Bowen42. Bowser Jr. is yeah. a criminally underrated character. We he's kind of well. He's kind of stuck in the <laughs> mid tier though, just because a lot of characters do have opportunities against his punish options and his his usual favorite tools. Like his neutral isn't the strongest, 
but where he excels at is you know getting in on you and being able to play rush down but also being a, being able to play a little bit passive he has somewhat of a trap game but it's not that strong there are other characters who have a stronger trap game you know have a stronger way of having a better neutral with side specials look at steve man yeah pretty much that's exactly what i was gonna say oh good delayed cart there by jake oh and he actually gets the command grab portion as well as him to take further stage control as well big no. grab I, I call I like to call Bowser Jr. the 399 side special, and then oh no, okay, then he still survives. I was gonna say too early in that part, but you can see how Jake consistently has been pulling out TNT and going for down smash, knowing that the fire will trigger it, but you can just time it against your opponent. That's an interesting wall build there by Jake. And Ron uses it to actually uh, get away for a bit. <laughs> You can see that the minecart is forcing Ramon to have to like deal with what he wants to do aerially too all the time because it's usually gonna call out his landing. So that's yeah. another wrinkle in this matchup. That's the thing too. In the way, as long as Jake has powered minecart, which gives you a little bit of super armor at the startup, it's gonna be super hard to deal with. But also that minecart is also faster as a whole. So it's like if you try to punish Jake oh. for that, you will essentially be in the wrong pick all the time. But that's what that's what makes. Steve's neutral so good is that he oh, can't sell for materials. Of, and speaking of punishing, Jake right there, just right catching Ramon and Lad, basically like being like, nothing personal, kid, I'm right behind you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good grab whiff here by Ramon because Bowser Jr. has a jab that kills. <laughs> oh, trying to get the explosion there. Yeah, abandoned ship. I've never I like on Smash Frame, but I've never heard that was a name for it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just call it the Ejecto Cito. I've I've seen fast too fast to furious like one too many uh -oh. times. Here come the the, the axe loops, the zero to seventy seat. Jesus, you got a win sixty eight off that. Yeah. Nice. Man, I, this is what okay, that one was a small change up from the moon. I wanna see more of that. Go for Koopa Kart, stall yourself, and look to see Jake's option. Because you know that's the first thing Jake is looking to punish is Koopa Kart. But again, Jake escaping just far away enough to punish Ramon's recovery to ledge. Again, Jake cough ledge, but Ramon cannot get the stock off of him. Big back throw, and that's finally going to take it. Yeah. This is what makes a character like Sonic really strong when it comes to spin dash. They're able to eventually, essentially cancel that animation and then just wait to see how your opponent reacts to it. Bowser Jr. doesn't necessarily have that as well as Sonic does. Oh, here oh watch yourself. But he can at least jump from Koopa Kart and then bait a reaction. And I kind of want to see that oh. more for Ramon. Oh. He finally gets on the board here. This is a real good by Ramon. 57 off all those back airs, but just eats the car and he's got, he lost all of the stage control there too. Yeah. Oh, and the mine cart going right through the, um, the toy trap setup too. Jeez, what a good call by Jake. Yeah, Mecha Koopa is definitely, can be an insurance policy for Bowser Jr. if they play it right. Again, drop an anchor there with a big up B explosion, but Jake's still surviving and oh, he caught no. him again. And his Mecha Koopa too. Uh, you have to wonder, no. for oh. See, I respect that too, because like he thought he might have, he could use directional air dodge to grab the ledge, but unfortunately he was yeah. just too low at that point. And looks like Jake will take that with a 2-0 over Ramon 64. You have to wonder if that was like a buffered like shield or roll.